Yo, what's up, guys? It's been a minute since I've been in this Facebook group, but uh, I've been behind the scenes building out a lot of systems. So I wanted to drive a lot of value for you guys here on building out a simple KPI tracker for your own business. Uh, this is what I love to do. I found in a tribe of buyers, we didn't have the systems to not constantly be putting out fires. So the first uh, year of building out Masters of Fate, um, I put a lot of work into building out the systems, the foundation for the business. So we're not fucking putting out fires. So I want to drive that and bring it to you guys. Uh, and thanks for being some of the first few members in this Facebook group. And I really appreciate you guys being here. This is my forever business, my forever thing. So you're a part of it. So appreciate you guys. And hopefully I drive a lot of value for you here if you have any questions on KPI tracking or anything around systems, drop it down below. I'm going to flip my screen around. You're going to see some of the inside of our own Airtable, uh, which basically we house all of our uh, business systems in Airtable in one centralized place. Because I was tired of having all these Google Sheets, all these Google Documents, all these things all over the place. Um, and funnels and all of that stuff all over the place. And then I just centralized it all inside of Airtable here. So you'll be seeing that and hit that heart button, hit that like button. If you get any value out of this, uh, the more engagement we get, the more people we can reach, more people we can help. And fuck it, we'll just dive right into it. So, boom, there's my beautiful face. And Airtable is one of my favorite uh, tools to use. As you can see, I've built out a lot of tracking systems here. I've gotten our entire company in here in this space. Um, we've got our contractor pay in here. I've got my self mastery app, which is basically everything internal for me that I want to track. Uh, so my goals, my habits, my values, my beliefs, my vision, everything in there. Um, I have my fitness mastery app so I can get yoked and track everything there. Uh, my relationships, how I communicate with people, my wealth, it's all in here. It's really fucking cool. So I love, uh, I love Airtable. I love these systems um, and having them all in one place. Uh, it's just so easy to find information and just see how it all connects, which you'll see in here. So I'm going to see if anybody is on with us live, which it doesn't look like it. I'm doing this pretty early, but hopefully if you're catching the replay, this helps you out a lot, especially if you want to see the scoreboard of your business. Tracking KPIs, especially for yourself at first, and then when you have team members, uh, tracking those KPIs and setting KPI metrics and seeing if we're on or if we're off and having a dashboard for it just allows you to see the data at the glance and make database decisions. So we'll go into exactly how to set that up for your business, at least initially. So here's the inside of some of our business. Here's our business app. So our entire business in one place. So we have everything for delivery, finances, marketing, hiring, uh, operations, team, sales, and then our vision, our goals, our tasks, uh, and this has been so much better than Asana or ClickUp or anything for task management. I love Airtable. But what you're looking at right now are the prospecting KPIs that we're tracking currently. We've kept it really simple for prospecting, as you can see here, with the sales calls booked, prospecting hours, new conversations, follow-up messages, how many people replied, reply percentage, um, do we need to tweak our uh, our scripts uh, in order to get more replies? And more replies will lead to more book sales calls. So uh, we're tracking the leading and lagging KPIs so we can see how we move somebody from an initial conversation and being a lead to actually booking a sales call here. Um, and then triage calls as well and warm outbound dials. So we have one page here, which are just KPIs with what we're tracking. Is it a number? Is it a percentage? Is it a dollar um, dollar amount? And then are we tracking it on a daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly basis? All these uh, prospecting metrics are on a daily basis. So our 
prospecting team goes in there, tracks at the end of the day, and you'll see the tracking system in just a second here. Um, and then we have description for it and where it's tracked. And then who is the role owner for this? So the sales development rep right there. And how it all connects together is really cool, but I can dive deeper into that in a future video. But I just wanna get you the value here on how to actually set this up. So what I recommend first is setting up something like this, where you have all your KPIs in one place, the definitions or descriptions for them and that sort of stuff. And then you can create the tracking based off of that. So then you have another tab, tracking tab right here. And then this is where you have the actual numbers and the actual input. So on the left-hand side, you put in the date, who's tracking it right now, and then you put in the KPIs. So here, boom. So here you take these KPIs and then you just put them at the column at the top. What that will do is uh, you can track and put in the numbers and all that good stuff and also create formulas just like a Google sheet, but it's even fucking better. And then uh, you can see everything in one place and the numbers and all that good stuff. You can also see, boom, I won't show their whole names, but who is actually booked, the prospect here. Um, and you can tie it to the CRM, which is really fucking cool. So you set up something like this, and then you can also create dashboards in Airtable as well. So you can see all of your, your numbers at a glance right here in visual data, who's booking the most amount of calls, uh, how many sales calls book do we have this month from prospecting? And it's all set up through Airtable. So pretty cool stuff. And um, I can show you just like the basics of this. And I'm actually really good at creating these super fast. And if you guys have any, you can track anything in here. So if you have any questions on Airtable or tracking or what other data can I put in here, what else, basically everything. Um, but if you have any questions, drop them down below. I'm happy to help out. So once you get into Airtable, if this is super new for you, you just want to create a new base here. You can put your entire business in Airtable. But what we'll do is just we'll call this KPI tracking. Boom. And then what we want to do here Usually I delete all of these bad boys. Um, go down here, delete. And then we go in here, rename. Um, let's call this KPIs. And then we'll create another one called tracking. So, tracking. And then we can delete all of these. For the tracking one, we want to have the date. So customize field type, date, boom. And then we type in date right here. Perfect, save, boom. And then I'm gonna go back to the KPIs here. And what I like to do actually, and this is for just like, I want people to take their eyes exactly to what they wanna see. And I use emojis for that. So I use Emojipedia, if you wanna use that bad boy. And then let's just use a uh, gear um, for KPIs, boom, 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 and rename KPIs. Now it looks a little bit better. Our eyes will go directly to it so we can work faster. And then here, I'll change this from grid view to KPIs. Cool. So then what we want in here, let's say booked, sales calls, and then we can say booked triage calls, prospecting hours, um, replies, load this up, reply percentage, uh, new combos and then we can say follow up. boom 
And then we have all of that dialed in. Beautiful, bada bing, bada boom. And then let's see, we want, when is it tracked? So tracked, boom, beautiful. Daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly. Boom, and I use single select right there. And then prospecting, we want to do this on that. And then um, let's put in, what did I call this? Boom, the type. So type will be single select. And then what we'll do is number, dollar amount, percentage, formula, easy. And then department, beautiful. And then long text, and then I like to enrich the text. So that will add, you can do bold bullet points and that sort of stuff if you enrich the text. And then, um, oh, I said department there. What I wanna say is details. Um, and then we want to put in department two. And then we want to use single select. So different departments that you can have. Um, let's say marketing, prospecting, sales, delivery, or fulfillment, um, uh, operations, human resources, finances whatever the different departments are for your business, because what this is, is prospecting. And what I'll do is click this. But what you can also do is set up the other KPIs for your business. And what I would do is just duplicate this. I would call this, boom, prospecting. And then this could be called sales, sales. And then I'll click back on prospecting and then I'll filter this, add condition, department, prospecting. So then only the prospecting KPIs are here. And then I'll do the same thing over here, but select sales. So department is sales. And then you can put in sales KPIs here. So pretty cool. And then, bah, bah, bah. so what I wanna do here, so, uh, number of book sales calls. And what we would also something like that daily, that would be a dollar amount. And then prospecting hours would be a number, number of replies, reply percentage would actually be a formula. And then new conversations would be number and then follow up messages sent number. And then you would put in the details or definitions for those bad boys. And then you can also put in other things that you want to put next to here. So like we have boom, tracker, uh, role owner, that sort of stuff. <clears throat> so then tracking, uh, let's just put a, buh, 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 buh. let's do a, uh, scale. <clears throat> not scale, a uh, graph. <clears throat> Boom, put something like that in. Tracking. What we'll do here is say rename prospecting. Awesome. And then we'll put in department. And then we'll do the same thing here. So marketing, prospecting, sales, delivery, uh, operations, human resources, something like that. And we know all these are going to be prospecting. Um, actually, what we want to do is only have one line here. Delete that. And then what we want to do is put the KPIs in at the top. So the ones that we're putting in, what we can do is go back here, look at book sales calls, booked sales calls, 
boom, number. What we want to do is change this. It's not going to be a half a sales call, so we want to change that to integer. Triage uh, calls. We'll say booked triage calls. Um, and number. Perfect. Beautiful. Cool. Um, and then let's say new combos. Number. And then say replies. Number. And then what we can do out of this is create a formula between new combos and replies. So formula for uh, reply percentage formula and then formatting or sorry formula would be uh, replies divided by new conversations boom and then formatting what we want is a percentage That's beautiful. So let's say we have 10 new conversations and two people reply. That should spit out 20% right there. And what I like to do is move these closer. Beautiful. And then sale uh, prospecting rev. And then we can put in a dollar amount. And what I like to do, oh, perfect. So then we can see how much money we're making from prospecting. What's really cool is this will also add everything up. So uh, let's say we made $20,000 that day. If you look at the bottom here, it adds everything up. Pretty cool. And what I also might want to put on this is month. So we can see it by month as well. So January, I won't put them all in February, then let's just say October. Skipped ahead. And then these are going to be October. And what we can do is group this by, let's change this to today's date, put this in prospecting, and we can group by month then. And then we can see the data at the top here, $30,000 in October. So pretty cool. So once you have that, once you have your KPIs in, and then you have your tracking system, and then you have a daily task for the person on your prospecting team to put in the data, the data will be in there. And then you can visualize the data using interfaces inside of Airtable to see something like this, you can put any data in here that you want, that you want to see at a glance. Um, and it's really fucking cool. So now you know exactly how to put the KPIs in, the definitions for them, the tracking system. And then I can create another video on dashboards. If you like, just let me know down below um, and how to visualize the data. But I just want to get you really quick, awesome information here so you can start creating a scoreboard and so you can start visualizing the scoreboard for your team. So if you're not great at tracking uh, tracking your data or putting data in or knowing what, uh, uh, what metrics to track, let me know down below. Happy to help. And uh, yeah, this is great, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. I did that in under uh, 20 minutes. So awesome. And if you want more videos like this going over business stuff, let me know. And uh, let's go. Master's of Faith. Talk to you guys soon.